Got to say thank you very much. Keep it going. Thank you very much to Natasha Bedingfield, everybody for coming today. Uh, we have all the recordings online. It will be videotaped, rebroadcast for whatever you want to hear it, see it, all online, xl1067.com. And pictures, and you guys get to meet her coming up next. Thank you for listening. That was awesome. All right, let's do this. Uh, questions for Natasha. Who, who, who? What's your name? Rachel. Rachel, here you go. Where did you get your shoes? <laughs> they're sparkles. sparkles. Um, Alexander McQueen. They're, they're like his last thing before he died, his last collection. So I just got them. Mm, I had to have Aww. them. I had to, they, were, they were just like crying at me, saying goodbye. <laughs> me. Yeah. Way to bring up a sore subject. <laughs> I and I've forgotten how much they cost. Yeah, Already. they're cool. You got a little heart Conveniently, toes. Conveniently, I've forgotten. Anybody else? Next question. Heart toe shoes. Who is the song I want to have your babies for? <laughs> it's uh, about dating. It's just about what girls are really thinking. It's, it's like what we were talking about before, the stuff that you keep in your head and you do not say, because if you do, they will run a mile. And I just, I had this dream in my head of what happened if, like, you... You act, all the stuff, that, it was almost like what women want, you know, what happens if all the things that you were thinking, the guy actually knew, it probably would freak them out, yeah. It was funny, because actually, it's more, I call it my Sarah Silverman song, because it's kind of should have been on Saturday Night Live, you know, it should have been one of those Justin Timberlake, uh, dick in the box type <laughs> things. I'm just, wait, you want us to be honest, but then you have all these secret things behind. What is up with that? What do you if mean? He, if he knew what well, I was no, really thinking. Well, no, because that's thinking. dating. You can't, you, like, I mean, you have to play the game, really, don't you, a bit? A little bit. I like, guess so, Like, that's kind yeah. of, how, which date would that be? After four. It would be, four. like, on the 10th or maybe on the, after one year, maybe. <laughs> but that would be what, the, fir the, the thing is, and I know guys <laughs> do it, too, but that's the first thing that you tell a friend after you've had a really good date, you're like, I found, you know, I'm having his babies, you know, so that, <laughs> you know, and I know the guys do it too. That's my baby mama right there. You know, I know they say that. <laughs> I don't because know that's genetics. That. That's like evolution is you're looking for someone who's going to have good kids with, right? The girls think that first. But I, you, but guys, I don't have know, kids. Like, I don't want to like have kids for a while. Like, you know, it's not like that. It's just. No, I'm not having yeah, kids for a few years. Another question. Comment, I'm kind of slow. How long did it take you to get become famous? Um, well, I don't know. It's a funny question um, because it comes and goes. <laughs> I don't know. Like, like I, I, I started writing songs when I was 17, and I got a record deal when I was 21 or 22. And I'm 28. Yeah, so I've been doing, I've been releasing records for about six years. How about this? When My album, when I released it in England, it went number one straight away. You know, um, and and then I came here, and yeah. This is when I think you know that you're famous or whatnot is when you get recognized in like a grocery store or just at a gas pump. When did that happen for you? How old? I remember the first time was when I was going through the airport security, and the and the person was giving me a funny look, and I'm like, uh oh, they're gonna search me. <laughs> and I always was worried when I came to America that they were gonna do the whole rubber glove thing. <laughs> oh, so I was just like freaking out. They're like, come here, and then like, are you are you Natasha Benifold? I'm like, oh, phew. yes. <laughs> That's good. Depends who's asking. Who's got the <laughs> next question? I know you guys have them. Speak up, speak up. Here you go. How tall are you? Oh, I'm 5'6". <laughs> but with shoes, I can be like 5'9". I can be whatever you want. Girls lie. <laughs> they lie. Question. Do you have a wardrobe stylist? I do. I do. Um, I, I, it's one of the pleasures of my job. I have someone go out and do all the shopping, bring it to my room, and I can just kind of pick and choose. And I love that. Yeah, but I shop my, myself too sometimes. Question. How did you become inspired for the song Touch? Oh, Touch. Um, I was listening. Uh, actually, I met the people from Nivea, and they were doing a commercial called Touch and Be Touched. And we wrote this song called Touch, and I got really excited about the idea that we're all interconnected, you know? And it's like, I meet people everywhere I go that know someone I know. It's, it's just crazy how something I do, it's like starts a ripple effect, or something they did affected me, and like I'm fascinated by that, so love yeah, it. Question back here. What's your zodiac sign? Ah, um, Sag. Sagittarius? Sagittarius. What's is, that, your is that good? Yeah? <laughs> what happened? My sister's a Sag. Really? Would you not date someone based on their star sign? Yeah. Really? <laughs> wow. 
If the moon wasn't where it needed to be, if it wasn't aligned right, it wasn't meant to be. Wow. Katy Perry, Russell Brand. Because if you dated a few people in the same, same star sign and they were the same, yeah. You got burnt. Every, but my sister's a Scorpio, and, and whenever she says that, people go, oh. <laughs> but they're like, Scorpios, mm, they're, good, they're sexy or something. Question. I'm like, I always wanted that. I'm a Sagittarius. They're like, oh, yay. <laughs> I don't know, what's the sound? It's supposed to have a good charisma. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I know you guys got a couple more questions here. A couple more. A couple more. One, two. It was just like my sister's ass. <laughs> you could ask her anything. I mean, we opened up here. This is a very open yeah, session. Yeah, we're very open. What's your favorite song to perform live? Um... Well, it could be the song that everyone sings to. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I like those hit songs. Like, there's such an amazing feeling when everyone sings along, like Unwritten or Pocket. Like, uh, sometimes I'll break down Pocket full of sunshine at the end and everyone sings the chorus. It's just the crowd, and that feels amazing. Um, I also love singing Wild Horses. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> really? I, lo I love singing that song. I really get into character. It becomes very theatrical. Apart from I'm not, like, pretending to ride a horse or anything like that. <laughs> I'm not pretending I'm a horse. That would be quite funny. <laughs> when everyone was, like, galloping around stage. I think we're going to do... <laughs> I can't do that in my McQueen's, can I? <laughs> in my high heels. I think we're going to do one more question, and then we're going to do pictures. One last question. Do you feel all, like, up here alone by yourself? I do. Do you? All, I'm on the spot. I know it's the same Come girl on. asking the same <laughs> question, but... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Can you guys do the leg kick? They can answer the question <laughs> for me. <laughs> wow. La 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 boom <laughs> <laughs> Okay, wait. <laughs> Are they done? <laughs> okay, so I've been in the laundromat and sometimes I hear your music and I can't keep up with a pucka 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 for the sunshine. <laughs> so far. So what's the trick what's the trick to actually keep the pocket going pocket without get getting like a tongue and twister? And because mm. that always got me and, and I've been driving in the car and I four stuck on traffic and I cannot get the pocket, pocket, pocket. Pocket, just, do some, just do some tongue exercises. <laughs> <laughs> she does it every night. How do you know? She's got a Justin Bieber pillow. <laughs> it works. They just make out. Are you guys ready to get some photos? Is that how you got the ring? <laughs> how do we want to line these, these lovely people up? This way? All right, and then we're going to go right here and get the photo. All right, so right behind, in front of me. Side and over. Here, you point them. Okay, uh, she doesn't want to. Side and over, I guess, right? All right, we'll start over here. Line leader. Who wants to be the caboose? 